There's a lot of new things in Cybertruck when we're reinventing a product. There are about one and a half million people interested in the Tesla Cybertruck, and they, as well as you and I, have been starved of information for a while. But recently, a Tesla Cybertruck body has been spotted being worked on ahead of the electric pickup truck's upcoming start of production in Texas. So what does this image of what appears to be a Tesla Cybertruck body reveal? Let's find out more in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. But Cybertruck is really born out of the idea of a different way of manufacturing a material that put the, the toughness on the outside. An image of a Cybertruck body with its apparent single-piece rear mega cast was recently shared online. The photograph was taken from the vehicle's rear, and it showed what seemed to be two main parts of the Cybertruck's body put together. One looked like a mega cast, and the other looked like hydroformed stainless steel. The automaker appears to be using both aluminum cast parts and steel for parts of the frame. A closer look reveals that the rear mega cast hints at a number of interesting details. For one, Elon Musk was not kidding when he previously stated that the Cybertruck's rear requires a casting that's bigger than those used in the Model Y. Musk has noted that Tesla would have to use the largest casting machine available for the Cybertruck's rear body because it's a large vehicle with a long truck bed, and it has to be capable of carrying a lot of weight. As could be seen in the recent photo from Giga Texas, the single-piece mega cast for the Cybertruck's rear is indeed the largest yet. What's also interesting in the recent Cybertruck image was the apparent absence of a folding midgate. This came as a slight disappointment for some Tesla supporters as some were looking forward to the feature. A folding midgate was also heavily hinted at in a Tesla patent from last year, which describes folding rear seats. The patent was met with much excitement as it would make the Cybertruck a great camping vehicle. If the recent image of the Cybertruck and its megacast is any indication, it would appear that this won't be the case. Although some dispute Tesla's use of the word exoskeleton since it's not clear that parts of the external body are structural. Let's take a look at the description on Tesla's website. Cybertruck is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. Starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, every component is designed for superior strength and endurance. From ultra hard 30x cold roll stainless steel structural skin to the Tesla armor glass. The picture of the body also doesn't make any external structural parts clear, but the appearance of Cybertruck is good news for those who are looking forward to this pickup. There is, however, still an obvious downside to driving battery-powered EVs, and that's the long charge times, especially when compared to how fast you can fuel up a gas-powered car. So what type of charger will the Cybertruck be charged with? Uh, so you don't need like a gigantic elephant trunk of a cable, you can actually have a small, small cable, and that cable delivers uh, a megawatt. Tesla confirmed that the Tesla Cybertruck will also take advantage of the company's 1 megawatt ultra fast charging technology. With the V4 supercharger, it's expected to be much more efficient, which would better suit the larger power demands of the Semi and Cybertruck. And if the Cybertruck indeed has a charging speed of 1000 kilowatts, that means the all electric truck, which will most likely come with a battery pack equivalent in size to the Model S and X, will have four times the charging speed of the Tesla V3 supercharger's 350 kilowatts. This will make the Cybertruck an even more incredible vehicle than it's already shaping up to be. The Cybertruck and its V4 supercharger capabilities should be able to beat out the charging times of each of these pickup trucks. The R1T's fastest charge time is roughly 140 miles in 20 minutes through DC fast charging, while the GMC Hummer EV pickup can get 100 miles in 10 minutes with DC fast charging. Lastly, the Ford F-150 50 Lightning can get from 15 to 80% charged in 36 minutes via fast charging. We don't know exactly how fast the V4 supercharger will charge the Cybertruck, but it's expected to be faster than the current than the current V3 superchargers that give you 200 miles in 15 minutes of a charge. We could soon say goodbye to half-hour wait times at rest stops when our EVs run out of juice. Tesla's new charging technology may be enough to sway customers towards the Cybertruck, considering it addresses one of the major flaws 
flaws of driving BEVs. Can you guess what the B stands for? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's shift our attention to the new 9,000 ton Gigapress. Elon Musk confirmed the new machine will be used to build the Cybertruck's body. Do you think the 9,000 ton Gigapress slated to build the Cybertruck's body is already in Giga Texas? According to Tesla, the Cybertruck is not expected to begin production until mid-2023, with initial deliveries not starting until the second half of the year. However, there are unconfirmed rumors that Tesla might deliver 30 hand-built Cybertrucks as early as next month. It's incredible to imagine the new 9,000-ton Gigapress basically printing large chunks of the Cybertruck as single pieces. However, before Tesla can begin utilizing the new Gigapress, there is a process it needs to undergo. The machine will need to be disassembled, transported to the Cybertruck factory in Austin, Texas, reassembled, and undergo testing. Only then can the new 9,000-ton Gigapress begin building the Cybertruck's body. This entire process is expected to take several months. However, today we've got some good news that suggests Tesla is one step closer to starting the Cybertruck's production. Joe Tetmeyer, who has been flying drones over Giga Texas and documenting the factory's progress since the early days, noticed trucks with heavy trailers unloading parts at the factory on his latest drone flyover. And based on his educated guess, Tetmeyer believes the trucks are carrying the same 9,000 T Gigapress that will build the Cybertruck's body, which we last saw undergoing final testing in Italy a couple of months ago. Having said that, currently they have only a single drone flyover to say the 9000 T Gigapress has indeed arrived at Giga Texas. But given all the work being done at the factory, there is still a chance the trucks might be unloading heavy equipment destined for other purposes. At the moment, the manufacturer has opened a number of job postings for the pickup truck production line in Giga Texas. Additionally, according to multiple reports, the company is bringing in a top executive, Tom Zhu, from Giga Shanghai to help ramp up production at the US factory. It's possible that he will play a key role in launching Cybertruck production. Any body and white expert out there who wants to share their opinion on the Cybertruck body picture, let us know. Do you think Tesla's upcoming truck will be able to charge at one megawatt? Please tell us in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.